that, that that's a very dicey question for me to answer at the moment i don't think see mm -hmm. uh, the dcg approval doesn't mean that we are already underway immunizing we need two more bodies to actually decide the price decide how to monitor the adverse effects to take the feedbacks and is it going to be given only on the government uh, i mean in government setups or will the private also be included just like it in, it was included for the uh, other age groups all these questions are yet to unfold so choosing the vaccine we might have a choice maybe not in the near extreme near future but then yes eventually we are going to have a choice of vaccines definitely and uh, which one to choose the data is still not sufficient like yeah. all of them are good enough yeah. i think rather than thinking about choosing a vaccine you just have to be more ready to take whatever is available in your local area whichever is being distributed for that local area because they they will have a way to distribute vaccines uh so that there is no shortage you will be surprised to know that less than 25 year olds the, the very young population is almost up to uh ranging between 25 to 40% in various parts of the country yes 40% 25 to 40% of the population are the ones who can be called the young very young population it's it's our advantage because we have a young force coming up and uh, it's it's also the reason why there will be a uh, huge demand for vaccines so they will chart out it is yet to chart out government as to how to distribute which vaccine to whom and all those logistics so the key message here is that you know whatever it is all of them are equally safe equally efficacious yes. and you can go ahead and follow and take what yes. is available in your area when it is launched